Today we're taking a look at the new Epiphone Jerry Cantrell Les Paul Custom in Wine Red. First and foremost, I am a huge Jerry Cantrell fan. I grew up listening to Alice in Chains all the time, and if you've watched any of the other videos on this channel, I'm sure you probably noticed the influence there. I have played a ton of Les Pauls over the years, and my main guitar for the past 10 years or so has been a Gibson Les Paul Custom Silverburst, and that's the guitar that I'm sort of basing my impressions of this guitar off of. Right off the bat, this Epiphone is a great guitar. I'm a pretty firm believer that things don't always have to be expensive to sound good or play good, and as long as a guitar is set up well, I find I can generally make things work, and straight out of the box, this Epiphone played great. I find that a common issue on a lot of less expensive guitars is that the nut is not cut very well. It's usually way too high, which leads to all kinds of intonation problems and generally just makes the guitar really uncomfortable to play, especially if you try to play like an F bar chord or something, it just bends all of the strings out of tune. But that is not the case here. The nut is cut pretty perfectly. It's got great fret work. The neck was super straight right out of the box. I didn't really have to do anything to set it up. All that I ended up doing was I put some Ernie Ball 10 to 52s on. That's just a personal preference for strings, and especially if I'm tuning down and things like that. A few notable things. First and foremost, the finish is awesome on this. I'm a sucker for a wine red finish. It's super classy and subtle and in the right light can really just kind of pop. I also really like the look of the new or technically old Epiphone Kalamazoo headstock shape. They used this design on Gibson's budget brands back in the 30s, and it's a little bit sleeker of a look, more in line with the typical Gibson open book headstock. I also find the neck profile really comfy. That's definitely a personal preference kind of thing, but this feels just like my custom, so I think that's why I'm just used to it. But it's a little bit fatter than a slim 60s neck, but it's not nearly as fat as like the 50s baseball bat kind of thing. So super comfy. I think a wide range of players would find it comfy as well. I also think it's cool that they opted for a proper ebony fretboard that you would find on a Gibson, as well as legit Grover tuners that just makes the guitar feel a lot more stable and sturdy and substantial. I also really like that this guitar doesn't scream signature model in the way that some other guitars out there can do. It's just, at the end of the day, it's just a subtle and classy looking Les Paul Custom. So the big question that I've gotten from a ton of people is, how does it compare to an actual Gibson Les Paul Custom? And that's a really tough thing to describe. They both sound and feel great. I think it really just boils down to the Gibson feeling slightly more substantial. The Epiphone is no slouch by any means, but my Gibson is a good three or four pounds heavier than the Epiphone, and I feel like that translates to a bigger, fatter, punchier, and slightly more complex sound. But even regardless of the price, the fit and finish on this Epiphone is super top-notch. Now, is that difference between these two guitars worth $5,000? That's something that you kind of need to be the judge on. I got my custom back in 2008 when they weren't nearly as expensive, but there's a reason it's been my main guitar for a long time. All in all, I think Epiphone and Jerry Cantrell really knocked it out of the park with this guitar. At the end of the day, it's just a great feeling Les Paul, so I would highly recommend it to anybody interested in checking one out. Uh, if you want to check one out, hit the link in the video description and it helps out this channel a bunch. Thanks so much to Zounds for sending this my way to check out, and I really appreciate all of you checking out the video. We'll see you next time. Take care.